Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today is the first mukbang in our tiny house. And we just figured we have been living here for like, it's been a month now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we just wanted to do a video talking about living in a tiny house and eat in front of you guys because that's what you guys like to see, I guess. Man, the quality of that lens is ridiculous. It's good, huh? Such a good lens. So I was actually thinking about this while we're outside. Probably the one thing that has annoyed us probably the most, and it's definitely first world problems, is Amazon Prime takes forever. So when we lived in Tucson, we could we would literally get like you know you get the two day free shipping or whatever, or for certain things you get same day shipping or one day shipping, mm. and it was like it was really cool. But now since we live about 40 miles away from Tucson, for some reason, things take... Forever. Like, like oh, two weeks. Two weeks to get some things. And I don't, I don't know what is so different. Like, I think, because they ship, to ship to, the, to where we're at, it has to go to Tucson. Then I think it goes to Sierra Vista, and then it comes to Benson and St. David. Really? Because all of our UPS stuff, the stuff that gets delivered... Um, through UPS, it always starts in uh, Sierra Vista, which is about 45 minutes away from here. That's ridiculous. So, it might have something to do with that. It's, that's probably, like, one of the most annoying things. And the other annoying thing to me is just the generator. Using a generator, because it's loud, it's dirty. I like it. I feel like the humming noise is very therapeutic. Like. <laughs> I feel like once we get solar, I'm going to miss it. And I'm going to be like, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't bug me that much. Like, the generator doesn't bug me. I think the weirdest thing that, like, has... Because I was telling Derek, I was like, we should do a video on your tiny house channel. Because if you guys didn't know, he has, like, a tiny house channel where you can basically see this entire thing, like, get built. You can eat. That's what this yeah. video is so funny because people always say that like I'm such a bitch to Derek in videos but like that's literally just the way that we interact with each other mm -hmm. like I am a sarcastic witty little biatch in real life mm. but I'm not like mean like I'm just like I'm not a bitch I was actually thinking about that right? as well and it's like Hannah's like she might come across as being like a bitch at times or even but people she's say like, that I'm like stuck up and stuff yeah but she's like incredibly thoughtful and generous so she always, she does lots of things for me all the time and like always, you know, takes really good care of me and I try to take good care of her. I honestly so. just think that I have like just a bitchy voice. Like my voice just sounds like some, <clears throat> like well, I, don't, I don't have a really like, hey guys, like it's high carb Hannah. I don't like talk to Derek. How's like, it going guys? Hi baby. How are you today? I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> No, but it's not like um, it's not like I'm a uh, like I'm a biatch, you know. I'm doesn't not... doesn't Mummy Tang say a bitch face? She does. She says I yeah. have like the best roots resting bitch face. Resting okay. bitch face. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not like a mean person. Like I'm yeah. probably like the nicest person you'll ever meet, but mm -hmm. maybe not the nicest. One of the nicest. There's there's yeah. some really nice people out there. So you know. I wouldn't say you're the nicest, but you're definitely nice. I'm just very sarcastic, <laughs> like very sarcastic, and I have a very dark humor, like. Not even joking, like it's really dark. And it goes to weird places all the time. And that's just something you guys don't really see on my YouTube channel because like half the stuff I say is just like, my friends back in high school, like we'd be talking about a subject, right? Just a normal subject. And I would just take it to the deepest, darkest, scariest, funniest place. And they would be like, too far, <laughs> too far. <laughs> like you always just go a little bit too far. And I'm like, all right, I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's just the way that I am. What are we talking about? I gotta open the window. Like tiny house, living in the tiny house. In terms of like space, oh, it's so hot. I mean, this feels much more spacious than our apartment. That was four hundred and something square feet. Yeah. So this is how it's. Well, the the footprint. So it's eight by twenty. So it's just about two forty. It's about two hundred for like the footprint, but if you include the space in the lofts, it's about two sixty or two hundred and seventy square feet. 
It was actually kind of nice how things have worked out is Hannah's typically up in her loft, or well, not her loft, the bedroom loft, and then I'll be up in the, uh, we call it just the office loft. So we both have like our own separate little spaces. So when we're doing video editing or just in the evening, we're just, you know, chilling on our computers and we have yeah. like our own space. Whereas like typically in the apartment, we did have separate rooms, but there was a point there where we'd always be like in the bed together, kind of like right next to each other. Yeah. But at least like just with working, the tiny Just not like banging all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> it's not like a it's not a twenty four seven thing, right? It's every couple days. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> what's also really what's also really nice is that there's so much outdoor space. Yeah. Like forty acres for like most of this morning. Like I'm just doing you know work outside. Hannah's inside, we so had, we both have our own kind of like separate area or separate space. We had zero outdoor space in our apartment. Yeah. Zero. Like we didn't even have a patio. That's how dumb it was. But, but yeah. that's what you get for getting literally one of the cheapest apartments you can get, so. That's true. That is true. So shipping. Well, just eat your food and I'll talk about something. Eat your food, Gosh, dear. She just eat, like, your, eat your fucking food. <laughs> she just yeah. seems like such a bitch. I feel so sorry for this guy. <laughs> it's like, but it's like you don't have to feel sorry for he'll, him. He'll just, she makes she makes amazing meals all the time. How can I complain? He I hasn't like made. I do have it made, but you do as well. I gave him free, free funds and access and every. I was just like, you want to build a tiny house, babe? Just go for it. Just do whatever you want. And then he told me how much it was at the end, and I was like. You got like a five thousand dollar kitchen. Yeah, the most the most expensive thing in the house is the kitchen. It was more expensive than the trailer. The trailer is usually the most expensive thing. And even, it was only forty five hundred dollars. Even just like the countertop was like The countertop was <laughs> almost ten percent of the price of the house. Like I think it was over a few thousand. But I wanted these countertops just probably just as much as Hannah did, so because Yeah. I I just whenever you go into IKEA and you like look at how they have everything staged. You're just like, man, those countertops are really nice. They're quartz. They're quartz. And yeah, they're expensive and we had to pay a lot extra to get it installed because they had to travel to Tucson from Ikea and Phoenix to do it. And we got the waterfall. And the waterfall edge. It's but actually cheaper to get the waterfall though. Because it wasn't, no, it wasn't cheaper. It worked out to only be a little bit extra because we got, I think it was 15%. like a- 15%. That. Yeah, I think it was like six hundred dollars we got back because we purchased the whole kitchen. So it's like six or seven hundred dollars. Yeah. They we had got some back. deal where it was like if you spend over, was it like three thirty five hundred? Four four thousand, I think it was. Four thousand, then you got fifteen percent back, and like without the waterfall, it wasn't over four thousand. But with the waterfall, it was. So yeah, Derek was like, "Oh my god, that thing's like what was it like six hundred bucks or like four six hundred yeah. bucks or something?" So We're like, "That's a lot just for like a vertical piece of quartz." Yeah. But then we're like, well, we get a $600 gift card. So it's like the same thing. And it allowed us, well, we use that to buy like the chairs and other things that we got from Ikea. Most of the stuff in here is from Ikea. Yeah. Just a lot of people. Uh, I don't know. It's like, it's pretty, it's pretty inexpensive stuff. It looks good. <clears throat> mm. So. And if the dogs like ruined it, it wouldn't be the end of the world, you know? Yeah. But a lot of people ask like who built our tiny house and stuff. Derek, like Derek built it. And then they ask who designed it. And it's like we designed every single component mm. of it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And like we have like things I've never really seen in tiny houses are like the kitchen setup that we have. I've never seen really, you don't see a lot of double lofts. You do, but sometimes the second loft is usually like for storage but yeah as tiny houses it's kind of funny tiny houses originally like when you watch say the movie tiny like all the tiny houses in that documentary they're actually like n not a lot of them are, ver are very big and this is probably i would say about a standard size tiny house 24 feet long yeah but as they it's People like move as around too like the other yeah. disadvantage that people have is that they're using them to like move around and 
Nobody, I don't even think anyone has figured out how to actually put one permanently on a piece of property like we have. Because, like, has well, anybody is, else done that? Yeah, like, people, yeah, tiny houses are still considered to be a recreational vehicle. So you have to follow all the laws of a recreational vehicle. And essentially what, so in certain places, I know that they'll classify a tiny house as an accessory dwelling unit. So you can actually get, like, I think it's something that you'd have to actually have to get permits for. And mm -hmm. I think it's more in the Pacific Northwest that I've heard of this stuff happening. Um, so if it gets permitted as an accessory dwelling unit, then, um, then I believe somebody can live in it full time. It's not that but having I one, it's like, not that having one is a, like illegal. Like there's nothing illegal about it. It's just it's the just size that, of it. No, that's not it at all. It's, you cannot claim this as your permanent resident or your primary because resident. Because it's too small. No, because it's an RV. <laughs> not because it's too small. Oh. It's because it's considered a recreational vehicle. And for health and safety reasons, the government, and also tax reasons as well, because you can't tax this because it's a mobile vehicle. Mm. So they don't want you living, they don't want people living in these full time. And that's because tax reasons and health and safety. Like, that's probably an excuse that they use, but I'd say it's primarily for taxes. Yeah, so like ours, we actually had to get a permit because... We have friends that live in Benson and Bisbee, which is like south of here. It's like 10 miles from the Mexico border. And they actually lived in their RV while they built their other house. And like mm. the county that we live in is very... Relaxed. Yeah. In terms of like um, permits and building inspections. Yeah. So like specifically for us, so you get a building permit for... Uh, basically our main house, the garage that we're going to build, as well as the shed out there. And once we got the permit for that, you can get an RV permit as well. So what this allows you to do is they give you three years, three years from start to finish to build the main house that you're going to be living in. Yeah. But since this is such a poor county, they want to really encourage people to build actual homes. Um, so they make it really, really easy out here. And that's just so that they can get more tax money because you can't tax a recreational yeah. vehicle like this. And I mean, technically, like, we can build another tiny... Like, we're going to build another tiny house, which there isn't really, like, a minimum or maximum square foot for a tiny house. It's just, like, using all the space well. So here, the minimum square feet for two people is 400 square feet, right? Yeah, I think you have to build at least 400 square feet, which is, like... Nothing. Like, I was like, talking yeah. to our friend Amy in Texas, and she's like, we want to build a house, like a tiny house, but the minimum square footage is 1,800 square feet that, like, that we have to build yeah. if we buy a piece of property. And so that's another reason why people will usually build on wheels as well, is because it gets around the minimum home size. Mm -hmm. That's another That's another reason why they but build... But you couldn't, like, buy a piece of property and just have a tiny house on it, though. Yeah, that's... I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions, is legally speaking... Now, legally speaking... You just, we just couldn't park this tiny house here and live in it and consider this our primary residence. It's technically illegal. Now, do people do it? Hell yeah. Lots of people do it. Mm. And so the thing is, it's like, you just don't get caught. And typically how you get reported is, say, um, typically it's usually just from your neighbors, if your neighbors rat you out. So Our neighbor's really cool, though. <clears throat> but we can we can legally live in our tiny house like people are like do you people say like I hope that you have a permit for living there it's like we yeah. we went through I think just because of the fact that we were, were on YouTube and stuff we wanted to share everything we did because we thought about doing stuff illegally but then we're like we can do this legally so let's yeah. just do it the right way yeah so like the the cost of the permits out here I think is like very very inexpensive I think for a building permit, it was like a hundred and something dollars. And then to get a permit to live in the RV, which there's no restrictions. They're not like, well, you need to make sure your RV is hooked up to your septic or anything like that. There's nothing. Just, they're like, yeah, if you're going to be living in an RV, you have to pay an extra $30 or something, which it's is like nothing. nothing. Yeah. So legally speaking, like we're, we're totally legal living in here because we've basically told the county what we're doing. I've got... You know, our, our building permits for the garage, 
which is essentially all they come out and inspect here because of the type of land that we're on and that we have opted out of building inspections is they just come out and check basically the setbacks from the lot lines so there's like a certain amount of easement from the lot line that you need to be in we're nowhere even close to the lot line so that doesn't even matter and then you also have to be at least 50 feet from a wash so any of the major washes the building a building corner or building side has to be at least 50 feet away and that's it that's all they inspect out here and if you've ever gone through like building a home <coughs> you would probably be like, OMG, that's so easy. Because to build like a home in the next county over in uh, Pima County, be totally different. But yeah. since they are really, they really, 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 really want people to build homes here so that they can collect more tax dollars. Um, because a lot of people, what they, ended up, what they end up doing is they'll buy a piece of land and then they'll live on it for six months. It's usually either Canadians, snowbirds. yeah, snowbirds, so either people coming from the northern part of the United States or Canadians, they come down, they buy a piece of land, and they'll get a well and a septic um, set up, and then they just come, they park their RV, which they can do, legally speaking, but since they're living in it for six months, it's technically considered illegal, but there's not somebody driving around, like, looking for this kind of stuff. It's usually reported through, like, neighbors, like, a neighbor complains. Our neighbor is like really paranoid though, so he's like, well the government, they have drones and they fly helicopters over and they take pictures and if you have a building up that like they, you don't have a permit for, they're going to catch you. I'm like, I don't know, I kind of I, I doubt, I doubt it. Yeah. And the easiest place to do it is in someone's backyard. Or you buy a piece of property and do it like we did it. Yeah. In but a county that's really lenient. There, I, there's not many counties like this in the United States, so. It's like, I think it's the poorest county in the United States. Or probably in Arizona. It's probably one of the poorest counties in Arizona. Because mm -hmm. there's no major metropolis, so they have limited funds coming in. Yeah. I don't know, though. Like, this has been... Like, a lot of people watch our videos and they're like, you guys seem so much happier now that you, like, live in your tiny house. And, like, you're always smiling and, like just seems so much happier. It's like, well, yeah, we have our own space now and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, our space between each other is probably actually better than it was, like, in the apartment because a lot of people think, like, oh, do you guys, like, hate each other because you're so... Like, we don't have separate rooms. Like, we can't get away from each other when we're both in this house. We just... I mean, we have the lofts, but it's not, like, closed off. We just don't have any, like, private space. Like, there's no privacy. And then one time I was like in the bathroom and Derek like peeks his head and I'm like, I get no privacy in this place, like none. <laughs> but he was just joking and it was kind of funny. But, <laughs> but still, I can't like, even remember what it was about. But I mean, like so far, it's probably one of the nicest homes that I've lived in. That's exactly how we like wanted it. Yeah, in terms of the color, the design, like I love the breakfast bar. Mm -hmm. That makes a huge difference and it's, it's not idea. we didn't want it to be cluttered up with like storage and shit like yeah. that Like some people in their tiny homes. They have so much stuff It's kind of the nice thing about having a tiny house because like you only have so much space. So like I think Just I don't know like as humans we're more ingrained to be like, oh, well, I have this like I don't want to just get rid of it But then we like accumulate so much stuff. It's like once you start to accumulate like more stuff in a tiny house, it just seems so cluttered, and then it's like, all right, we gotta get rid of some of this shit. Like, we literally have two glasses. We have different kinds, but we only have two of, like, everything. Like, we don't have more than, like, we need. Yeah. We have a few like, different, like, bowls and stuff, just from when I was taking photos for recipe videos, but, like, we just have what we need. Like, we don't have mm. tons of clothes or even tons of, like, books. Like... No. We are so kind of lucky that we do have that shed. Because yeah. a lot of the stuff that we don't want to store in here, or that we don't use very often, like, we'll just yeah. put it in there. So that's kind of nice. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But, I mean, like, if we had to have made it work with the space, then I'm sure we would have, but... Glad we don't have to. Yeah. Like, some people, their tiny houses, I think, just seem so cluttered because they're using it more to move around. Mm. 
and like we're staying in one spot whereas people have their bikes hanging from the ceilings and like they have all their stuff and just like they just seem very cluttered because yeah. they have to have you know their water heater their washer like all this stuff's in our shed so yeah but it's funny because even when we like started building this place we didn't really know what we were gonna do or where we were gonna put it <laughs> yeah so like the design changed like well it didn't the design didn't change but like the yeah, ba the bathroom changed the most because we were originally gonna put in a very small washer and a water heater right in the bathroom there mm. but since w more like as we kind of went along with the construction and then we eventually bought this land it's like well wh where we park the tiny house we'll build it we'll have a shed so that we can put all that kind of stuff in there I mean, we were gonna put the washer in there yeah thankfully we didn't because we don't have any space in there yeah there would be no space for clothes and stuff so. I think that was like that was a last minute decision. Yeah. Cause we're like, why are we even putting it in the house? We'll just put it in the shed. And yeah. then we can use that whole thing as a closet. Yeah. So So I mean like you really like it looks very empty in here and it is, but That's we've, how we like we've, it. Yeah, we've also been fortunate that we can move stuff in the shed as well. So And we like it to be empty <clears throat> and clean and like modern and not just be like cluttered like You'll never see us put like 30 pictures up or like, people are always yeah. like, show us after you decorate. And it's like, this, this is it. <laughs> Mo most of the decoration is done. Like the only thing that I can really think of that has to be done is a bit of like finishing work. So, um, fixing up some of the, where the nail marks in, are in the trim, some touch ups with paint. Um, I have to origin. still caulk around the inside of the windows around between the drywall and the actual window. We've just been busy like trying to get the property done because yeah. even just today like I was looking out the door and I'm like what is what is that? And Derek's like what? And I was like there's an animal like running across our property. Usually like the coyotes don't come out until the evening. Like four or five. But he was just like running across the property and it's like we gotta get yeah. this fence up so I our go dogs don't shoot him shoot him away. Any so, regrets? Hmm not, Not really. really. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't design the house any differently. Like I, at I like first the, yeah. we didn't. At first we didn't know what to do with that loft back there, and we're like, what are we gonna do with it? Because I kind of wanted to have it for storage or like, have some bookshelves or something up there. Which I'm still trying to convince him to put a bookshelf up there because we just like it's nice to have books, and I like to have the books that like I would if someone came over, I would just be like, here, take this book and read it. Like, you know, the books that changed my life. So we have a lot of books. And I don't like it when things look cluttered. Like, I feel like our bookcase looks cluttered. It's fine. But he thinks it's fine. But at first I was like, I don't even know why we put that up there. Because we weren't going to decide to do anything with it. But it's nice to have two different spaces. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> just to, like, have our own. I can sit up there and edit or watch YouTube videos or, like, read something. And he can be over there doing whatever the heck he does. Just doing whatever. Watching, probably responding to emails probably actually watching pewdiepie or some crazy like funny compilation disaster video where people like fly off of what was that compilation video that you always watch mm. where people are like getting injured but it cuts off right before it actually shows oh happens. i watched like two of them it's not something that i always watch yeah but you kept sending them to me like, i sent you this, one this. i sent like, i sent you one i don't even care about that stuff exaggeration to the max here <laughs> anyways <clears throat> yeah i don't know i don't think we'd do anything that differently derek is just always like well if i could build it again i could obviously build it a lot better because hmm. this is my first time building it but um, i don't notice any of the flaws but he obviously knows where they all are i know where all the mistakes are in this house the house itself is not perfectly straight it, cu it curves almost like a banana it's but you can't even see it. You can see it from outside. If, like, say you stand on the shed of the roof, like, I could see it as clear as day. Really? But, yeah. That's because when I was putting... I don't even want to get into it, but... Yeah, it's too much. It's but... very it's very slight, but when you're doing things like flooring, mm, um, things yeah. like that, you notice, you notice these little things, so... Yeah. I mean... 
So what we were actually going to do before we got this piece of land is that we were going to buy a five acre piece of land and like that's one of the things that I'm just like so glad we didn't do because we were actually looking at one like literally down a the lot, road. A lot or two down that way and w that was the one that we really liked because the other ones you had to drive past like a trailer park and a dairy farm and they were just like in terrible spots and terrible views and well, really, we were looking... aw really awkward shape too. Yeah. Not like a square or a rectangle. Huge, like really weird shapes. Huge power lines going <clears throat> over them and stuff. Yeah. And then we looked at that one. We're like, yeah, we really like that one. And then our real estate agent was like, oh, we I have a forty acre lot over there. And Derek's like, let's go look at him. Like we're not buying a forty acre piece of property. Like what are we gonna do with it? We're not doing it. And it was like, what three times, three and a half times maybe more. Three three times more. But we had like the cash to actually buy the other one. So I was like, well, we don't want to get like in debt or like whatever. Yeah. Which if you want to hear like the actual very long explanations about this, just go to his channel. Time, like, what is it called? Life, Life inside, inside a box. box. And the video is called Let's Talk About Money. I'll uh, link it below. But yeah, if you guys want to see like all the tiny house videos and stuff, just go to Derek's channel. But <laughs> I'm so glad we bought this because Lay down, buddy. Come on. Because Derek was like, well, I have this vision of like having a tiny house community and da 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 and all this stuff. And then we, I was like, okay, whatever, let's buy it. So then we bought it and then we found out we couldn't really do that with zoning and stuff. And we're like, well, we have a lot of land. Well, you can still do it. I think you just have to get things like rezoned. Mm. So in order to act, have, have like to an make, actual like, community, but I mean, you can still host people. You'd have to make so. like an, you'd have to zone it as like an RV park. Yeah. So, I don't know. Which time, money, there's, there's a lot, a lot of stuff that would go into something like that. So it's not something that we're even really thinking about right now. It's more, we need to get ourselves situated first, yeah. get the buildings for us built and then we can think about the future. It would be, it would be like really epic though to like actually build and own a tiny house like RV park. Yeah. That'd be really cool. That's another place where you... <sighs> Does that at 30 minutes. Our thing oh. cut out so we don't know what we just said but whatever. Maybe we'll just end the video. <laughs> yeah, what is that? <laughs> yeah. So if you guys want us to do another mukbang, let us know and then yeah we can do another one like talking about Talking you about guys, something like maybe more specific. Yeah. Because we you kinda, guys can suggest what you want us to talk about. Yeah, because we kind of go off on tangents, and we kept it pretty well on course. But Anyways. yeah, let us know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we weren't just kind of like <clears throat> rambling on and on and on. I think people are interested in hearing this type of stuff because it is different. Yeah. And I've definitely been getting a lot of like tiny house followers. They're like, oh my gosh, you. I found you because you had a tiny house, your tiny house tour, and like I'm vegan and I love eating food. And it's like, if you love eating food, then you'll love my channel because that's all I do is cook and eat food. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let us know when you, what you want us to talk about in the next mukbang, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, sir. Peace. Peace.